Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are about to start on a mammoth task of making multiple items of clothing to a deadline because I'm the most last minute person I know. Okay, so today is Wednesday and next Thursday in exactly one week and one day from now, um, we, as in me and Sam, are flying to Dubai. We're gonna be there for about a week and then after that we are flying to Istanbul and then coming home. So we're going away for about 10 days and I'm very excited for that because not only are there fabric shops in Dubai, there are also fabric shops in Istanbul. So I'm excited for the break. I'm also excited for the fabric shopping. So stay tuned for those vlogs because I will be making them. As I've told you in previous videos, I am no longer the shape that I used to be. Although I am working to get back to that, I do need some clothes. So in my last video, you saw I made a few rougey pulley type stuff, but I still need a few other summer clothes because the summer clothes that I currently have will not fit me. Anyway, I have a ton of stuff to make. I have seven days to do it. I also need to redo my hair because it's a mess. And we've got some other like beauty things like nails and pedicures and all of that stuff to prepare for holiday. So we don't actually have as much time as I think we do, but we're gonna go for it anyway. So let me show you all the stuff that I've cut out already, what I'm about to cut out, and then I guess we just get to sewing. So this is a fabric which I'm about to cut out, which you might've seen in one of my previous hauls. Here we've got uh, a top, and a pair of shorts. We've got a dress here, we've got a skirt here, we've got a top and a pair of shorts in this matching fabric. I've been waiting years to make this. I got this from um, Australia, so I'm really excited about that. This is a pattern that I recently modified, added a little bit on it so that it would fit, and it's gonna be this. Um, this actually comes with sleeves, but I'm gonna make it sleeveless. Um, and as I'm making them, I will tell you what the actual pattern name is and what it looks like on. Um, I also have two patterns here, which uh, I think I'm going to cut out. And I have a couple on there, which I'm considering. But like, let's just get this stuff done first and then we'll see where we are. Luckily, because these ones are already cut out, I think the sewing process will be quite fast. It's the, it's the actual cutting which takes up time. I don't know, we're going to figure it out. So what I am currently doing is cutting out uh, a Vicky Sews dress which I've made before. It's the Gloria dress. I really, really like this dress. It's got a really nice kind of like squarish kind of sweet, sweetheart neckline. I love it. I've made two and I tried them on and it is a squeeze, a real squeeze. It fits but in, a, in an uncomfortable, I'm a sausage in a sausage casing way but it does fit. So I'm making another version. What I've done, I've modified the paper pattern and added uh, a centimeter on the center back and a centimeter on the center front, just to give me a little bit of breathing space. I did the same with the facings and I think it's gonna work out. Obviously, I don't know if it is and I'm not gonna test it out because I don't have time. But you know, that's my most favorite part of these kind of like sewing challenges. It forces, creativity you know so i'll figure it out also because it's got a long sleeve and this is meant to be for like a really hot weather dress i'm actually omitting the sleeves and i think i might use maybe a bias binding to close off the sleeve to make sure it's uh, um still wearable um we'll see how that goes as well i don't know it'll work maybe it work maybe it work i don't know i'm excited <laughs> Vicky Sews Mara pants and um, these are meant to be like long wide leg pants but because I've cut out a matching top which is the Georgie top I turn these into shorts and I'm using this um, it's like peach fuzz like silky type material and I think it will be a really really nice set as you can see it's got like kind of a bit of gold in it really really nice and flowy so I'm going to put the pants together now uh, and then we're going to put the top together after and that's one little matching set which will be ready for the holiday Thursday morning 
morning and I have just finished this pair of shorts um, and we're about to get on to the next thing but I will tell you about these. These are the Mara trousers from Vicky Sews. Just to let you know there's going to be quite a few Vicky Sews patterns here mostly because I have collected like maybe like 50 since I discovered them like two, two and a half, three years ago and they're great patterns um, and I do not have the time to be creating patterns from scratch so in like just to save myself some time and knowing that they're gonna look good most of these patterns that I'm making are from Vicky Zoe's. Anyway, these are the Mara trousers. They're just like a wide leg um, palazzo pant basically, but I cut them into shorts because I didn't want to make like really, really long pants. So these are shorts. And now I'm going to make the Vicky Zoe's Georgie top, which is like a pull string, big sleeve, billio billowy um, crop top in the same fabric. So it's like a little matching set. Um, I've not actually made this one before. This one was like from her last Last pattern drop it looks really cute so we're gonna make it now on and I thought let me just try it on just to see how it fits and well hmm I like it but my boobs are still too big for this I should have done a bust adjustment I didn't lessons learned I don't have time to fix it so this is gonna stay on the mannequin when I get back from holiday we will fix this but right now, I've got eight other things that need to be sewn, so we're moving on to the next thing. So no matching set, we're just going to have some cute satin, satin shorts, which I can wear with a linen shirt that I recently made that I need to put buttons on. So we're just going to get on to the next thing. I'm going to make the Gloria dress, which is this dress in this really nice yellow fan print. This one I know fits. So hopefully we can just flush it out. It's really annoying though, because this took me a couple of hours and that's time wasted, but it's fine. We carry on. So it is Friday morning. This is what I made yesterday on Thursday. This is the Gloria dress, but without the sleeves. Not quite finished. I still need to finish um, the armholes. I quite like it. Makes a really cute summer dress. And I suspected that without the sleeves, it would be quite a nice, like fitted sleeveless dress. So I'm quite happy with this. So today I'm going to finish the sleeves, just really, really simple with some bias binding. Uh, we're just gonna bind that together and it also fixes the facing to the inside. Um, there is a zipper at the back, um, which is mostly invisible, mostly invisible. So I will have to uh, go back and just make sure that it's completely invisible. Today I can get on with the next project. So um, I'm gonna switch colors now to cream and I've got like three cream projects and uh, I've already made one of them in another um, color so I already know what I'm doing so hopefully I'll be able to at least whip through two of them today. All right so had a shower we are clean breakfast all ready to get on with this day. I have bias bound the armholes and hemmed this so this dress is finished so that's going to go there and the next thing that I'm going to do is this dress which is McCall's 7161. It's an old faithful. I've made this dress multiple times and we're going to make this short version here in this really nice uh, viscose blend. It's kind of got like 
uh, like almost like a Japanese garden print on it. Really nice and airy, very summery. It's going to be a nice quick sew. Um, I have cut it in a larger size, haven't measured, but if we go by what the measurements say, it should fit. So we'll see what happens. Um, and then afterwards, we'll get on with the other stuff. Um, there are a few things I need to actually run out and get. There's a zip that I'm missing, so I need to go and get that. And uh, yeah, but we're not going to do that now. First of all, we're going to knock this one out because it's a quick sew. Um, and then we can relax a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. So I started sewing the dress and halfway through changed my mind and now I'm gonna sew something else. The reason why I changed my mind is I'm trying to put the things that I want to wear in order of like importance and that dress was like actually at the end of the queue so I thought why am I sewing it first? Let me get the stuff that I actually want to wear done first and if I get to the end and there's still time then I'll go back and make it but there are a few things in my pile that if I don't get this done I'll be kind of gutted so I'm gonna go do those first so uh yeah we're making a pair of shorts these are uh Vicky sews pair of shorts that are very very cute and uh I literally made one like three four days ago so I'm gonna make another one in this really nice cream linen Saturday morning. All of Friday I decided to make these pair of shorts that I'm wearing and then in the evening I took my hair out and now it is deep conditioning so this is why I look like this. But let me show you the shorts and then uh, we can get on to the next project. These are the shorts. Really cute. I made them out of this cute little linen. They're quite high-waisted but I think that is a great holiday short or just like a great summer short. Um, I also already made it before. These are the ones that I made uh, last week and I made a matching top with a different pattern. So this pattern is a uh, Grasser pattern, which is another Russian company that I've got like loads of patterns from. This is pattern number 84. Um, and yeah, it's actually quite, it's quite a longer short, but I, uh, made it a lot shorter and again super comfortable I think super pretty quite stylish looking now I'm going to make a top in the same fabric so I've got a little matching set this is going to be the Rose Cafe bustier dress but which I'm modifying just into a top um, and yeah I actually did the same thing with this so I know that it fits right and everything and I thought you know I'm going to have one version like this and one version like this so that's what we're gonna go do now very excited hopefully because it's quite a quick so we'll be able to get that done today and i'll also be able to tackle another one of my projects i have another pair of shorts i know but like i'm gonna be in dubai like of course i'm gonna have all the shorts morning so it is Sunday we are getting on there with our deadline it is coming up but we don't have that much left to do just a few bits and pieces and two more items that's it so let me talk you through yesterday my battery ran out so I couldn't show you everything but this is the top the top that matches these shorts so it's gonna be like a cute little set this is the Rose Cafe Bustier by Daria Pattern Making um, it's meant to be a dress, I just made it as a top, and at the back, the last thing I need to do is cut the holes and put in some eyelets so that it can be laced up, which makes it more comfortable and adjustable. So that's one thing that we need to do today. Uh, last week I made two items, I made the Vicky Sews Cynthia shirt, which is a really oversized shirt, using this really nice 
super luxe linen really really nice and i also made the alexis dress which is like an off the shoulder um like puff sleeved milkmaid type dress both of those needed buttons so i ordered some nice ones from etsy and they came in the post so these are just going to be some cute little ones for this dress not too fancy but for the shirt i got these really cute like cream and gold buttons so i was waiting for them to arrive they arrived i'm gonna put those buttons on today for the actual projects though um i've got my final pair of shorts I'm gonna make the same shorts again because if it ain't broke don't try to fix it fits well love it perfect and i feel like i'm pretty fast at making them because this will be the fourth time i've made it this week so i'm making it out of this fabric that i've been meaning to use for a very long time this has been in my stash for years it's a um embroidered cotton really lightweight perfect for summer and it has a scalloped edge so i'm not going to be hemming these i just kind of placed it on the pattern piece so that the scalloped edge would be the bottom of the shorts so that should be really nice they're super thin and i won't be lining them because i want all those holes to be seen so I don't know how revealing it's gonna be but you know we'll find out and I can't interface them because also it's super super holy so it'll be quite a lightweight pair of shorts a matching top I actually used the Alexis uh, dress as a guide and just kind of chopped it at the waist and we're going to use the top half as a matching top in the same fabric so it'll be a cute little set um, and I didn't have any bias binding with like the same color but this pink should match but those are the only two things that I will be making like putting things together the rest of it is just finishing off stuff and then I can relax a little bit I can maybe go back to that dress that I abandoned so yeah that's it I'm gonna stop talking now and get to sewing because we don't have that much time I still need to do my hair and I need at least a day for that so the sooner we get this done the sooner I can sort out this bonnet oh, okay all right let's go Friends. Oh, love it. So crisp. All right, so we have a pair of shorts, and oh my gosh, so cute. They were actually really easy to make. I did use a little bit of interfacing, but only the strip bias tape. Uh, which you can actually see through the holes but other than that it's pretty cool there's no other interfacing on the band or anything so it's really really lightweight I think these are going to be cute on so I need to put a little clasp on here so that it closes but these are done so I'm going to be doing a bunch of hand sewing later on this evening so that's just going to go into the hand sewing pile and now we should finish this top and then we are basically done Okay, quick progress check. I am actually nearly done on the top. It came together quite quickly. It's in pieces at the moment, but I've got my two sleeves. So this is so this is one sleeve and I use a uh, bias binding in a pink. So actually it's going to look pretty cute and here is the other sleeve. Um, and then I've got the two front pieces. So that's the front with the button bits and the bust, which has also been done with bias binding. And then we've got our back piece with a facing, which I need to press into submission. So now all I need to do is put them together. But I think before I put them together, I'm going to put the buttonholes on now while they're in pieces. And then I will put it together. And then the top is done to match the shorts. And then 
yeah i think i've i think i've done it exciting and then tomorrow fixing this <laughs> Okay, so it is time to choose some buttons. I have my little button caddy here, um, but I've, and I've kind of done it by colour. Well, a few by colours, and these are all like the red, oranges, and purples all together. And I'm looking for something that's going to go with this. So where is my front? I've got seven buttonholes that I'm going to put on here, and I want them to be quite small. Uh, so like probably around that size, it's orange, maybe that's a bit too light, let's see, oh there's this one, that also looks orange, but that actually looks like a better match, hmm, hmm, ooh these ones are cute. So this, all of these buttons, my um, my boyfriend's mum gave me a giant bag of buttons like years ago and I've been using them ever since. There's so many like different ones in there and I've just been adding to my button collection and there's some real cool gems, like some of these are really vintage and as you can see there are quite a few of these little hexagonal ones which are also quite cute. I mean, that could be cute. Mm, actually, you know what? I think I want to use this for a different project. Yeah, I'm going to use these for a different project. Maybe these ones. This one looks like a good match. It kind of blends in a little bit, which is what I want. So now I just need to find seven of them. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, so I did manage to find seven of these orange ones, which are kind of perfect, so that's great. But of these ones I also love, I found nine, so that's great. Um, I will definitely be using that for another project. And I've got so many other like little collections of others, so yeah, I need to have another look in here because I've got all different colours. Like I'll show you the, uh, the other level. We've got wooden ones, we've got the stripy ones, we've got tortoise shell, we've got white, we've got giant ones. And then underneath that one, I've got like all my metal ones and like some Chanel looking ones and all sorts. So yeah, but uh, yeah, these are gonna, we're gonna put these ones on, fun. the next day I finished putting on the rest of the buttons for everything else this morning and now as you can see I am starting on my hair yep I normally do my hair myself and um, without any distractions it takes me a couple of hours obviously in this house there's always distractions so I've got the rest of the day today plus tomorrow to get everything done and then I'm going to pack so while I would love to show you a little fashion show of everything that I made I would much rather show you me wearing them actually on holiday so cue the tape <laughs> <laughs> 